what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today we're looking at the new Yeet Light LED strips and light bulbs that have Razer Chroma integration. So, are they any good? Well, let's find out. Let's go. So, here I've got the Yeet Light LED strip 1S and the Yeet Light LED bulbs 1S. So, with the LED strip, you'll find exactly the same as with their previous models got the LED strip which is 2 meter in size and the adapter that has a small remote controller on it as well. The LED strip still can be extended with the 1 meter pieces if needed and they have this adhesive backside that allows you to simply stick it on where you want to place it. If yours happen to be too long, you can also cut them on the trim lines um, that are visible on the strip. So in tech specs, the strip is pretty much the same. It's got 60 million colors RGB LEDs, 200 lumens in brightness. It uses 7.5 watts and it can be set up with the Mi Home app, the Yeet Light app, and it will work with things like Apple Home, Amazon Alexa, and Google Home as well. The Lightbulb 1S has been out for quite a few months now, and this one is also quite similar to the ones that we've seen before. And the specs are pretty much the same. It's got a brightness of up to 800 lumens, which is really quite bright. It has a color spectrum from 1700K to 6500K, and it also connects with the same apps and services. So we can use this and set it up with the Mi Home app, from here, we can control the lights remotely. We can set up automation rules to have it work with all the other products that I have in there. But the new major thing with these is the Razer Chroma integration. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So to enable this, I have the Yeet Light app on my phone and I gotta enable the lights for LAN control. Once that's enabled, I uh, downloaded the Yeet Light extension for Razer Chroma, and there I can enable or disable each light for use with Chroma. I can group them, I can dim them, and that's pretty much all that it allows. Now in the Razer Synapse app, I can create these sort of custom light effects that will show on any Razer Chroma product, as well as on the Yeet Lights, as the Yeet Light is being shown here in this overview as well. So, I can create light effects that appear on the mouse, the mouse pad, the keyboard, as well as on the light strip and the LED bulbs. And this pretty much allows you to create these cool looking light shows on your desk. It can also have different effects or different colors on each of the items being shown if that's what you want. Hashtag RGB everywhere. So I can have this react to audio. This could either be the audio input of my computer but it can also be the microphone input and it will react to the ambient sound and, well, my voice. Yeah. 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 A very cool feature that I personally really like is to have chroma adapt to the overall colors on my display. So when I set that up, the lights will adapt to what I have on screen. And to show you this, I made this Photoshop project where I basically just cycled through these colors and you can see that all the lights take on the colors of the screen and it actually does that very quick. As a matter of fact, I've been testing this quite a lot and it really seems to react very quick to the changing colors on the screen. If I watch a YouTube video, it will work as well or any movie for that matter and it will take on the colors of the movie and it will display that with my lights. It's pretty cool. Now let's see how good it really is. Let's go. And this also works with Razer Chroma enabled games. So here in Overwatch, when I cycle through the various characters, you can see that the color will adapt to each of these characters. And in something like Apex, it will react to healing, getting shot or getting damaged and picking up items. And it all looks very interactive. The light effects that get pushed through to Chroma will differ a little bit per game and what the developer of that game has implemented, but it can give you some crazy looking examples like this right here, where the light really reacts to things that are happening on screen. And this is pretty cool if you're live streaming and have yourself, you know, picture in picture and the audience can actually see the light changes in your room together with what's happening on screen. I think it looks pretty sick. There's also a browser that is Chroma enabled. And this lets the light take on the color of the tab that you've got open. So for YouTube, the lights will be red and for Facebook, they will be blue and so on. Maybe there's also a website that will be orange. Huh. It really just takes on the color of the tabs, but you know, I mean, it exists. So in case you want it, it's there. There will be some more things that work with Chroma, 
but not yet 100% well with Yeelight. S-Chroma, for example, works with FL Studio or Fruity Loop Studio, so then it will show the frequency spectrum of a selected track. Um, but it would be cool to kind of see that work with Amplitude as well, but who knows, perhaps in the future that might work as well. So for now, there's already quite some things that are supported by the Yeelights in Chroma, and you could run this standalone as well, so you don't really need to have the Razer mouse or a keyboard to have this working. All you need is the new LED bulbs, the 1S, or the LED strip 1S, the Razer Chroma app, and you can actually set it up. And when it works in sync with all the other accessories that you might have that are Chroma enabled, it's pretty cool. I can actually see a lot of gamers be interested in this. So what do I think so far? Well, first of all, I really like the Yeelight bulbs and the strips. And as a matter of fact, I have seven of these strips in my apartment already, and I really like them. I really like how this 1S version integrates with Razer Chroma, um, but it can still be controlled with the Yeelight app, the Xiaomi Mi Home app, and things like Apple HomeKit and Amazon Alexa or Google Home. So it's really flexible in use, and that's pretty cool. Generally, it works really well and it integrates very nicely. One thing I personally would love to see with the LED strips is the option to have the left to right gradient. So you can create a gradient from like red to yellow or blue to green, for example. Perhaps that is something that we can see in the Yeelight LED strip too. I don't know, who knows? And one thing to note is that the Razer Chroma integration only works on Windows as they only have a Windows app. So there's no Mac OS integration. So if you're on uh, Apple, well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Overall, I really like them. I think it's very cool the way that it integrates. I think it's really cool when it reacts to whatever you have on screen. So you can kind of create your own Philips Ambilight situation. That's pretty cool as well. So in terms of the specs, the light bulbs as well as the LED strip 1S are very similar to the version two light bulbs and the LED strips that I've looked at here on the channel. So, so if you really wanna learn more about how these work, you can actually check out the video that I have on those and I will go a lot more in depth in setting them up and how the color will work and all that stuff. So that's about it for the uh, Yeelight LED strip and the uh, Yeelight light bulb 1S. The Yeelight LED bulb 1S goes for around $29.99 US dollars and the Yeelight LED strip goes for around 50 bucks. I'll put down some links down in the description below this video in case you wanna go and check them out. So what do you guys think about the uh, 1S version of these? Is this something you're very excited about? Maybe you really love the uh, Chroma integration. Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should because I'm doing a lot of videos about products from Xiaomi and the Xiaomi ecosystem like uh, Yeelight right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.